Afternoon guys, it's us, the dailies, just introducing the next section, which is Ablaze with Psalm 121. Hope you're encouraged and blessed. Take care. Well, yeah, I guess it relates to your help thing, how he's always there helping you, like, no matter what. Yeah. Like, even if you don't ask, <laughs> and if you're too, like, have too much pride to ask, he's still, like, there supporting you. Yeah, thanks, Emily. <laughs> Yeah. Um, just a little background to like the psalm because my bible actually tells me like a few like backgrounds to the psalm so it says that um this is actually a psalm sang by the israelites when they were on the journey to like the city of Jer- of jerusalem to like worship god in the temple and they sang they sang the song to like declare their trust in god so this song def- i mean the psalm definitely like is is like symbolizing and just telling how we should just all put our trust in God and how God will just really look over us. So I thought I should do that out. Yes. Okay. And then verse two, it is, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So it shows like he made heaven and earth, which shows how powerful he is. So it kind of reminds you that there is nothing he can't do. So even if you think you have like, like a like a problem which you don't think anyone, you don't think you could ask anyone for help because it's so big. Like God can um, help you um, through your problem. And yeah. Help you. And finally, in verse eight, it concludes the um, the verse by saying, "The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore." And once again, it's like it's really kind of like concluding this. Like it's not going to go on to like ten more chapters saying he will do this, he will do that. It's kind of like eight chapters saying he will do this, he will do that. And it's like just telling you that there's no way of like sometimes he'll do this or sometimes he'll do that it's kind of like he will do it and you just need to put your trust in him and he'll just continue to do it forevermore and it kind of kind of for me it kind of links to eternal life because it's like coming for time for from this time forth and forevermore and it's kind of like talking about when you kind of like you speak you kind of like live your life for god so it's kind of saying from then from that time he will be with you it's not kind of like you'll be with him for five years and he'll, he won't be with you anymore. It's like forever and you, you'll be with me. So I feel like it's really ensuring. Um, any thoughts about those four verses? I want to say that, um, you know, the, when it says that he wouldn't, he, he won't sleep because he's always protecting us. It reminded me of the, the verse I just looked it up the one that says I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me it's like he's always there for us and he he doesn't like sleep because he's always like looking after us and also a thought I had before was that when you were reading um like the beginning of the the psalm was that um it's like it doesn't bother God if we ask him for help but like he wants us to ask him for help because mm-hmm. he's like so great, it won't, it doesn't like he doesn't feel like disturbed if we ask him for help. He he's like encouraging us to ask him. Like he's always there and open for whenever we need him. Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah, it's like really re- reassuring because you know that he's always there and he wants you to ask him. It's not like he doesn't want you like to come to him. Yeah. 